Like most of you, I've been enjoying the return to office and time with my partners. The exit from the worst of the pandemic, while it's been pleasant in so many ways, has been a challenge for the economy. The invasion of Ukraine by Russia, supply chain disruptions, changes in spending patterns, two years of excessive monetary stimulation, ultra low interest rates have all combined to move inflation, as you know, to an unacceptably high level. About a year ago, 18 months ago, one of my partners said, if I could do one piece of data for the coming period, I want to know the level of inflation because that's what's going to determine the outcome for the economy and for markets. And boy, has that proven to be true. As a result of this high level of inflation, the need to bring it down closer to Fed targeted levels of, say, 2% over a reasonable period, we've had a spike in short and long-term interest rates. That's now showing up in a slowing of the economy. And the chance of recession is perhaps higher now than it's been in several years. It's not a certainty, but already growth is moving down lower uh, than any of us expected for 2022 and 2023.